suspicious persons. You also take notes on suspicious people, right? That's right. There's you, of course, and I've got notes on that guy with the mannequin. Oh, I've got his number. He's one of them object sexuals. Ooh. I'll have to take your word for that. No judging, no judging. It's a term applied to individuals who fall in love with inanimate objects. Come on, you've heard of it. A type of paraphilia. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, love has no boundaries. What about the guy with the scar on his forehead? Stony face in business class? Oh, yes. Workaholic. Textbook. He's got it bad, too. He's either using his work to run away from something, or work itself is his reason for living. Reason for living. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. It doesn't matter what it is. Just find a reason to live. Okay. What's the most dangerous thing on an airplane? Oh, there's lots of dangerous stuff. Maybe the number of times a baby has cried. Or times lavatories are full. Or maybe it's the number of times someone has blown their nose. Although, of course, you have to count the separate directions. But most dangerous, though. I mean, the epitome of danger. Ooh. Ooh. Was when the flight attendant screwed up the in-flight announcement and called Massachusetts Matcha choo choo choo. Matcha choo choo what? Yes. Can you believe that? Normally you would at least apologize. Correct yourself. But no, nothing. That'll make people think that Massachusetts is actually meant to be pronounced Matcha choo choo choo. Matcha choo choo. Don't you see how dangerous that is? It's like Dr. Johnson always says, oh. always admit your mistakes. Good old Dr. Johnson. You fly often? No. The fuck is this? This is my first time. <laughs> this, this is, this is D4. The <laughs> it's of my it's such a weird work, game. Dr. Johnson gave me some holiday and a ticket. Go spread your wings. Literally. That's what he said to me. But you know. These airplanes shake around more than I imagined. N not even kidding. This conversation is like one of the least off, weird conversations I've had in this it. whole game so how far. Am I meant to spread my Just shows how weird this game this is. Pressure. All right, what's up with the notes? How many notebooks have you filled? Oh, not many yet on this trip. Let me see. <laughs> Two in the taxi from my house and then three and a half in the airport. Since I got on board, only about one and an eighth of another. So, six? Yes, well, six and a third or so. What's it to you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Huh, that's a very good question. <laughs> also, what, why is this still here? Oh. You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, oh. why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane and you'll die. Great advice. So just keep your fear mongering to yourself. What's happening? There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here then? I don't have any, like, it's, there's clearly a clue here, but I guess I don't have. I'm missing something. It's not letting me get it. Uh, oh. Okay. Well. Let's talk to our good friend. Oh. Oh, well, what the hell is it? Oh. Who's this? Wife and daughter. Marshall, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. This is you think nothing happened at all? I don't need your jabber, boy. <gasps> the pen works. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why. 
but he seems determined to ignore me. <laughs> about his daughter, about his wife, about his bald head. Um, shit, did he tell me about his wife and daughter? I don't even remember his daughter. Uh, 50%, whatever. About your daughter. Does she look like you? <laughs> if she does, well... That's gotta be one Shit, unhappy bald head. I should have <laughs> voted most likely to be carved from stone. No prom date for her. Just having you as a father is enough to scare the boys off, I bet. But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Oh. Listen up. I don't know who you are. Now he doesn't know who I am. Oh my. God. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. As for your other inquiry, my daughter does not need the likes of you worrying about her. She looks like her mother. Thank you very much. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. Yeah, this is getting just what is it? It's getting weird. But he doesn't remember me now, but before he did. Um, he doesn't know me. Is he playing dumb? The witness is gone. Not escorting him. Family photo, young wife and daughter. What's wrong with Marshall? Marshall. Pipple's angry. <laughs> I'll be slapped with a match penalty if I push my luck any further. I'd better look for another way before I'm sent off for good. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking around. Is I mean, I don't even know if he's still the uh, still the play marshal or not. Grab this foam finger. Oh. <laughs> go, Boston, go! <laughs> Nothing says Boston quite like this. So glad. So glad I did that. Uh, warp table, scrap of paper, garbage. Yeah, what's in here? What is that? Oh, it's broken. Alright, steady, steady. What is it? What are we looking at? It's for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Okay. Of course, it's been used. Oh. Things don't come that easy. What's the relevance? Apparently was a puzzle piece? Boston, DC. Oh. Okay. Wait, is this going... Because the original... When I was on this flight before, it was going to Washington. So it, is it now going to Boston? It said the Ronald Reagan Airport. Like, I, I don't know where that is. I'm not American, so I don't know. <laughs> if, if that is in Boston, then... That, that would make sense. Um, Mil Milan Fall and Winter Collection 2013. The Milan Collection is one of the big five collections held in Milan, Italy, at the end of February each year. This season again saw the unveiling of many appealing and sensational items. In particular, the retro and military fashion of individualist designer Duncan matches seamlessly with the, cur with the current trends and was a major presence during the show. The retro and military fashion unveiled by him this season is kitsch and yet eye-catching. Its solid base and existing paradigms while dynamically fusing them with a modern approach is likely why it has come to be evaluated so highly. So in this universe, Duncan's all into the military stuff still. Or... I'm so confused. Or is this like a flight in the past? Because he used to be into that stuff. I don't know. There's MP. nothing here. All right. Hmm. 
Um, well, let's talk to him. Mesh tank top, nipples showing. Okay. Unbelievable. I want no military. Where's your glasses, Duncan? Oh, ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. <laughs> How is my Suki? Okay. Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. Oh no, okay, so this is still going to Ooh, DC. I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? <laughs> hey! Excuse me! She's Suki, not a mannequin! Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! <laughs> Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, Manny. <laughs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> Oh, it, he's just wonderful. Your choice is in fashion. So terrible. Oh, great. How can one walk outside wearing that? Um, excuse me. I spent 11,000 credits on this outfit. Thank you very much. When did you it's become a military maniac? <laughs> this is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? Why is Suki not wearing any clothes? Progress cannot be stopped. If it's not a mannequin. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be... Oh, his nipples are showing. can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just <laughs> explode <laughs> into my brain. Like, yeah, you know, I clearly this is just I just don't get fashion. That's what. Oh, sh avant, avant, guard. I remember. Say it, David. Say it. Avant God Eureka! Oh my god. He got a little too excited from that one. <laughs> oh. What's happening? Yes. <laughs> Your exclamation just lifted what? the fog oh, from my he changed brain outfit. in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, oh God. God! This will be my next theme. Wait, what? So, yeah. So then, this must be like in the past because when I saw him previously, he talked about how he used to be into the military stuff, but now he's into avant-garde. So now he's what? He's only into that because I tell him about it. I'm so Your lost. mannequin. I mean. Yeah, this must be a different Suki flight. Is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. <laughs> she doesn't have a mark on her. Mm -hmm. oh, let me take a look. So, oh, you're so good. Oh, my <laughs> Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. <laughs> if I were to lose you, I doubt oh, I he finally go yeah on this leave. this definitely happened I definitely used her leg as a baseball bat this does earlier look like the real Suki Is it just what's going on here I don't know actually what's going on here but I'll take another clue oh so then maybe that just meant that I already got the clue from before didn't mean that there was missing I was missing anything um only one more clue left oh because now he's in different clothes. So I can inspect him again. Can I push him again? No. Um. Who haven't I spoken to? Can I talk to Roland finally? Will he? Will he? Will he acknowledge me? 
push him though. Uh, too big for the plane. When did he move? A weird noise. Knife and fork. Is he hungry? When did you move to this seat? Taking up three seats. When Whoa. indeed, young Mr. Young. So funny, you would ask. What does that mean? If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. What? If time changes, so too does place. Please. Time is of the essence. Like, does he mean because we're on a plane and literally as time goes on, the plane's moving? Is that what he says? Is this just his deep way that of saying lightning that? lightning strike. How did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability <laughs> right. to look is not bad, but you need to be able to Oh my to god, speak a little quicker. A little more carefully. Careful, gotcha. Oh. What's he looking at? TVs, TV. Oh, 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 what's happening? Huh? Look around, look around. Oh, not smoking, didn't explode. So what? The lightning didn't strike. Apparently, I don't know what's happening. Now. What did you observe? Uh, sir, the engine isn't damaged. Okay. You have good observational skills thanks Roland you already know the answer yeah. am I correct yeah this is a different flight direction of the plane oh wait was the plane going from Washington to Boston last I've time I collected all the puzzle pieces oh let's see what he says That's it. This piece of the past yeah. has been solved. Oh. Marshall, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you the same uh, trick won't God work twice. Damn it! Although it's still the first uh, time for you. I, whoa, whoa. Two of the same pen. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. Uh huh. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. Uh huh. What are you <laughs> rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. Uh huh. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly. I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after. You're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, 
One other thing, mm -hmm. something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. Oh. Right, because he beat the shit out of him and killed him. Oh. He's writing all this down, David. And now his pen's all messed up. I'm going to be killed. Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. S Literally, vanished. They didn't vanish. Can at he all. not actually He's influence the past? Like. Or else, why would this he tell him that he's going to get killed? Of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. Right. Okay. So yeah. Oh. In other words, <laughs> they didn't vanish. I moved. Yes. Don't ask me how. What happened at that moment? I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Oh, this became the new memento. Ah. Oh. Not a memento anymore. Oh. Can't die. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? I don't feel anything from either one anymore. Huh. David. Uh, he has this power Why where you beard, he can use mementos from dead people that lets him, like, transport it was to, just starting to grow out. Uh, like, I guess the period where they died, I think, is kind of what it's I understand. Little Peggy, what should I do? Oh, he, is he getting tased by the marshal? Is that what just happened? Who's that? Whose glasses? The marshal? What the hell is this? A new memento? What? Oh my god, is it the end of episode one? What the hell? Was anyone? No, the, the marshal was the only. Yeah, music got intense. Uh, the marshal was the only one wearing like sunglasses or glasses. Um, all right, how did I do? Uh, I got eighty-four percent mind synchro, hundred percent adventure synchro rate. I don't know what that means. Ninety-four percent stunt. Uh, any other important stats? Just meals eaten and stuff. Uh, oh god, three little Peggy letters I missed. I got both case and files. I missed two scrapbooks of like magazines. Oh my god, there were six extra cases I missed. Uh, third, almost 30 objects missed. A hundred, a hundred observations missed. Well, observations are, I think that's like when you like hover over an item, which I just, I, I gave up on doing that. It just takes so long. Um, objects pushed, witness accounts gathered 84, one out of two little Peggy's recollections. That must have been when I went out on the balcony, or it was her swinging, either one. Okay. Oh, new facial hair. Hey, maybe I'll finally get rid of the mustache. <laughs> Alright, what, what, what's going on? List of blood and diseases. Who the f who's this? What? Oh, oh no! White owl feathers. Oh, the white owl from the start of the game. Oh my God, he's still wearing the outfit. <laughs> this is probably the father of like the little girl that died, or she didn't die, but the little girl from the, f the start. So, interesting, if that girl was Peggy, then this might be Peggy's dad. Alright. I 
didn't see you again this time either, little Peggy. This is there's literally only two Passenger episodes to this game, so this is the last episode. Does that sound possible to you? <sighs> Unbelievable. Is Olivia gonna come back? This plane is going down. Fucking with my big guy, weren't you? No more Ooh. messing with this puppy. I'm knocking this one out of the park. <sighs> Let him go. Damn, it's so disappointing. Apparently this... Yeah, so apparently this game didn't, like, sell well enough, so they never made a season two. But, um... Uh, like, so this is just season one, which is just prologue, episode one, episode two. Um, but apparently, even though there's not another season, like, apparently the story still wraps up pretty well. Um... So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, it just ends on two, but David. Oh. This is a yep. story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look, it's like I've grown wings. <laughs> hey. Fourth suspect. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so this is the... If anyone hasn't seen it, this is the owl that I was talking about at the beginning. Oh, David's here. Why is he here? Hey, there's credits. Wake up! Stay in character for the best synchro rate score. Of course. Huh? Huh? Why am I here now? The glasses I picked up. Whoa, wait a minute. Did, was, did that become another memento that brought me here? Who are you, mister? Just chewing gum like me. What? I'm David Young. Who are you? David? What? You're David? Who are you? This is Peggy? There's a spot billed duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. What? <laughs> I don't think this is, I don't know if this is Antarctica, it sure looks like it. What? Oh my god, so much to explore. Alright, credits. Oh, David's freezing. What's this outfit? Some soldier's clothes? Spy fiction, nice. Uh, some more. It's a little balloon. Oh, and it's gone now. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything to the right or left? No. Um, oh, you're looking at this this thing. Good <laughs> push her too. Yeah, how does she know him? Moles near her eye. No, it couldn't be. Peggy? Mister, are you really David Young? <laughs> you don't look like what I imagined. I heard you were really cool looking. Why do you have a beard like that? <laughs> she even she doesn't like the it's mustache. Kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are you pointing? Um, some more credits. There was some behind. There's something here. Another hoodie. 
Oh my god, he's freezing. I'm sorry I didn't put you in a warmer outfit, David. Uh, credits, I can push the sign again. Push this balloon. Uh, anything if I turn around? This is where they hide like the big credits, but uh, what about her? Anything new? It's just gonna be the same conversation. You know, oh? I almost died once. <laughs> Can you believe it? The ice on the lake just started to crack. Uh, I was so scared. But my two dads saved me. My two wonderful dads. What? Your two dads saved you. But in the, I'm confused now because in the scene of the start, there was only one guy here. Um. Interesting. Um. Oh my god, they're frozen. They're all dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, ducks. Well, first I gotta get the credits, of course. Nope, oh, moves that to the left. I didn't see that. Silver credit. Um, yeah, these ducks are dead. Um... Yeah, go ahead, sit on the frozen bench of ice. Oh. Oh. I thought like, it was going to reveal something written on it. Or... No, he's just clearing so he can sit. <laughs> what are you doing here, David? How do you know me? I'm looking for something. Something? Yeah. Third one froze. Something. Perfect. I didn't see so, it. So, what is it? A lead that will let me meet someone special one more time. Mm -hmm. A lead? What does it look like? I don't know. What will you do once you find it? I'm gonna change the past. Oh. So he can't change the past. You can't change the past, David. Ooh. Oh shit. Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. But you can't change the past. You just have to accept it. I belong to the past. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Because I think she's dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Always this way. When I'm diving into the past, <laughs> and I fall asleep, I get yeah, I think out, I think she's dead. Good call. I end up back here. Okay. Well, now I can change my mustache. At least now that I'm back. Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Teddy. Wait, who's Teddy? Teddy! What? It's really gotten late. Or is that what he called the other guy? This belongs to oh. the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. Yeah? If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. Yeah, it was Derek Buchanan. Whatever thing. But is he really the type to use a stun gun? It 
just no good. The pieces on fitting, little Peggy. Huh? Oh shit, something happened to him. Teddy's laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, Amanda, what what are you what are you doing up there? Um it, it's, it wants me to use the vision again. Oh my god. Um well first I gotta explore. Obviously. Yeah, look at that. See? What is this? Hoodie. Oh. Guess we're going to the fridge. Never mind. Um, sure, I'll eat some beans. Drink a lager, why not? Oh, can I, oh. Can, I can I close the door? Oh, there we go. Um, how do I get that sweater? I don't want it. it it's like not letting me click on the Oh my god, I don't want to drink. Oh, so that's a great question. The girl on the TV is Amanda. Apparently she just showed up one day and they let her live here. Um, she like acts like a cat, but is a human. Um, that's, that's pretty much where that's, that, that explains it. I guess she also eats like cat food. Um, oh my gosh, just listing every single ingredient. How do I grab this sweater? Do I need to walk over here first? Yes, there we go. Crimson Dragon Hoodie 2. Um, you know what? Speaking of Amanda, let's go check on her. She looks scared. What is this also? Dessert box? Teddy box? This yep. What? 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 Huh. I got a rare beard? Fake mustache. What the hell was that? It said rare items left. 20? Now. That's the first time I've seen that come up. Um, another lollipop. Um, Amanda, what the hell's going on? Just push her off the TV. Oh, she's sleeping. Well, wake up. Oh. My little Shapa is still sleeping. <laughs> I'll leave her to her dreams. Um, well, yeah, I'm just gonna, I, now I need to go see that, that facial hair I just got. If it's a rare item. Oh, now look at these. Is it finally time to see what this person's doing? Um, excuse me? Scissors looking at her wrist crying? What the hell's happening? Doorbell rings, she freezes. And he's gonna say, I don't have time for this, right? It's okay. Oh. There's no problem. Yep, but okay. He, he never actually acknowledges what's happening there. Um, yeah, I know Teddy's missing, but there's more important matters. All right, David, beard. Uh, Rockstar's a new one. Ugh, but it doesn't give any bonuses. Mexican. Oh, full mustache. Fake mustache. <laughs> it looks so horrible. Oh my god. It doesn't give any bonuses though. I don't even care anymore, honestly. With the, the vision bonus, I don't use vision anyways. Um I guess I have to use the fake mustache. It looks even worse, honestly, but like any new comedian shirt. No, still nothing's gonna be as good as this bit. Uh let's see their spy killer. Or spy fiction stuff I got. Just there's a way to see only new stuff. Um, that's a new one. I thought I got another spy fiction outfit, but I guess not. Um, lady killer shirt. <laughs> it does look like a Mario mustache. Uh, maybe was it is it bottoms I got? Well, those are new, but not what I thought. Amateur magician pants, comedian pants. Oh my god, those are great. Wait, I don't actually same bonus as the lady killer pants, but so screw it, yeah. Comedian pants it is. And then yeah, no way these shoes are gonna give me 30 stamina. No, none of them are even close. Um, oh, okay, so maybe it's an outfit for someone else I got then. 
Yeah. So she got a spy fiction one. What does it look like? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, I, I can change your outfit even though you're missing. That's kind of funny. Um, but I have I didn't unlock anything new for you. And Olivia, nothing either. All right. Um, rat. Oh, am I finally cleaning up in here? Again, just yep. This is the perfect time to be doing this. There's nothing pressing happening that I should be doing instead. Oh wait, oh, yeah. Oh. Let's go. Whoa, bonus stamina at life? And vision? Okay, maybe that was worth it. This is all stuff that it, <laughs> you couldn't do in the first episode. Um, Anything different in the bathroom? What is this? First aid kit? No, my health's my health's like full. Splash with water. I don't need to do. I'm gonna see if there's any credits or outfits in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> she looks less like a sex slave now. Um, that is fair. I mean, it, all of her outfits are just like the plot thickens. What? Leaving his computer on and just going out. <laughs> Teddy. Where have you gone? Oh, there's a turkey in the oven. <laughs> I love how it's like, it's like trying to remind me like, hey, go interact with his laptop. Okay. What are you doing? Like, yeah, I know. Right. Mine. Fi oh, there's credits in the microwave. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I don't do what the game wants me to do. All right. All right. Let's actually look at it. That's for same as before. Oh, I don't know what it was. Uh, what's this? Murders related to real blood. Whoa. Courier pen. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Junkie. Mail. Oh. All blood removed from her body. Do they need blood to make a drug real blood? Is that why? Oh my god. Look for D. What does that mean? I'm looking for D. Imagine if all this and the game just ends with a D's nuts joke. Like <laughs> she just comes back and she's like, uh, look for D's nuts. Got him. Uh, real blood is, uh, it's a drug in this game that like, uh, it, it's like the, the hottest drug that they're all taking, um, that the other guys investigating and stuff. So, um, I guess her murder had to do with it. Oh shit, what's his password? Uh, clam chowder, spectacular, rectangular. There's gotta be clam chowder. Yeah, he loves food. Oh, <sighs> missed the. Why does he even bother with a password? Whoa, 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 main? He's using geographical profiling. BPD, a hockey rink, uh -huh. Diana's cafe. Oh, the Oldman Clinical Research Lab, this apartment, and the house little Peggy grew up in. Teddy, just what the hell are you investigating? But well, yeah, intro time. I was absolutely shocked that none of this music was copyright strike. <laughs> so I'm just letting it play. Of all, like Olivia, they make se make it seem like she's such a big character and then she just disappears. And like this guy had like two seconds of camera time. Okay, so it's still all the same people from before. Interesting. Are we going back on the plane or? I wonder.
Oh. Morning, little Peggy. <laughs> Good morning, David. What? You're not wearing the outfit I gave you. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard. Ooh, that looks good. Some floppy bacon. Amanda, she's wearing the outfit. Why isn't he? So, uh, don't keep me in suspense. Tell me, how's the case going? What? The mementos are all gone. Oh. What? How'd that happen? Someone attacked me. What kind of attack? Felt like electricity. A uh, stun gun or something. Knocked me right out. Ah. So we're back to square one. No. I do have this. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What it looks like is a lens from some sunglasses. And what does that mean? Tell me, Teddy. Do federal marshals use stun guns? Hmm. At their discretion, maybe. But why would Derek Buchanan <sighs> use one? That muscle-bound, hard-headed old schooler. I don't know. Must have been an on-the-spot kind of thing. Hmm. Changing the subject, Teddy. Can I ask you something? Hmm. Yeah, where were you? What? You didn't go home last night. Did you? That's not unusual for me. But you always go back home. On nights when you fight with Diana. Me and her, we've been together a long time. I, I got a feel for which, you know, fights are best to stay away from a little longer. Look, I'm telling you the truth. We have our own way of doing things, that's all. Huh? Oh, yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? <laughs> uh. Right now, you need to concentrate on the case of the Vanishing Courier. This one is linked to D. That's what my gut tells me. My detective gut. Not my beer one. 